God bless you. I like the way you were dancing. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome all the children in the house of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That's our future. When you come to church, whatever we do, look at it. Hallelujah. And practice. Amen. The church belongs to you. Don't come and stand there unconcerned. I don't want to use some word. Hallelujah. I don't know whether it's because of the technology, the children, the way they walk, they walk like. I didn't say it. They come to church, they stand, they don't want to shake themselves. God bless you, children. Look at what your father do. Look at your, what mother do and do it. And God will bless you. Amen. We have a last ministration and a humble call upon Mrs. Elsie and son to bless us. A special song ministration. Amen. 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 God is good. And all the time. Amen. No matter what the storm that we face. We serve an awesome God who is able to turn the most awkward and dangerous situation and turn it around for our good. Amen. 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 Amen.
God bless you, divine angels. Amen. God bless you, the instrumentalists, Brother Ofosu and Brother Joe Abigi. God Amen. bless you. Emino. Emino. Church, are you ready? Amen. The Spirit of God is in this house. Our Papa, the Archbishop Spirit, is in this house. Yes. Our Father is right here. Hallelujah. Amen. But he has removed his shoes. For his associates. Amino. For his associates. Amino. For his associates. Apostle. 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 Mike Mesa. Somebody put your hands for, together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I said put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Not me. Not anybody. Not yourself. Amen. Not your doctor. Amen. Not your lawyer. Amen. Not your supervisor. Amen. But the King of Kings. Jesus. The Lord of Lords. Amen. The I am that I am. Amen. The ancient of days. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Turn to somebody and welcome the person. Turn to somebody. Welcome somebody in the house. Welcome, everyone. Welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome them. Uh huh. In you, the glory of the Lord. Oh, oh. I can see, see the glory of the Lord. Come somebody, show love, show love. Hug somebody, hug somebody. If I don't see you hugging, then it means you have a, you don't like somebody in the house. Aha, uh -huh. hug somebody. Show love, show the love of God. Show the love of God to somebody. Show the love of God to somebody. person seated next to you 
who do you see? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Just look at the person seated next to you, eyeball to eyeball, and tell me who you see. Hallelujah. You know the person you need to see? Yourself. If you can see yourself in the other person, it will be hard for you to hate them. If you can see yourself in the person seated next to you, it will be hard for you to lie against them. Because the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So do you see yourself in that person? Yeah. Then give the person a high five and tell the person, I love you. I love you. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord for today. It is, a, it is an honor to step into the big shoes of my father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, His Excellency Archbishop Dr. Kofi Adonte Mbwate. Uh, oh, I thought you were going to put your hands together Amen. for me. Amen. Our, our daddy is in Ghana doing what the Lord has sent him to do. And I believe that the Lord is going to increase him in all that he does. Hallelujah. Amen. So please let us always remember him in our prayers. I always say that when the brothers of Joseph saw him, they said, here comes the dreamer. Now, if the person is a dreamer, it means that person has a future. He has a dream. He is dreaming to become somebody great, somebody big. Amen. And if a tree grows to become big, birds and even humans will rest under the shade of the tree. But they said, we will not sit down for the tree to grow and become big. We will cut it off. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So instead of supporting the young man, they decided to destroy him. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes you'll be surprised that all the good things that the Lord is using our father to do, there are people that say, here comes the dreamer. Here comes the dreamer. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us always remember our father in our prayers that the Lord will continue to protect him Amen. and use him mightily to do his great works. Amen. 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 I will also want to thank all the pastors for being here, the apostles, the reverends, everyone. Hallelujah. Amen. And also all of you, uh, God bless you for coming. Amen. Uh, and hallelujah. Amen. And uh, I have a father figure at the back, Bishop Prince Tete. All the way from Ghana, Bishop. Amen. Yes, salute you and there. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today I came with just um, a short message. If it's not short, then it means the Holy Spirit made it long. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I said short, but if it turns out to be long, then the Holy Spirit decided to stretch it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. I'm going to read the scripture and then we'll pray. Matthew chapter 4. We're reading from the verse 1. Then, the spirit, then Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterwards he, be, he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, if you are the son of God, command these stones to become bread. Amen. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city and set him on the pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, Throw yourself down, Amen. for it is written, he shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, it is written again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, 
All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him alone you shall say. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. Bow down your heads and let us pray. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow. Here I am to say, you are my God. Mm, all together, Lord. Yeah, all, all together, Lord. Mm, all, all together, Wonderful to me. I will never know how much it costs to see my upon I will never know I will never oh how much mm, to see mm, upon so here I am here I am oh here I am to here I am to say that you are my God. Oh, all together, yeah, all together, all together. Father, we are here to worship. We are here to bow down. We've come to cast our crowns before you. Yes, Lord. To say that, Lord, without you, we are nothing. Jesus. It is in you we move. It is only in you we have our being. Father, we pray today in the name of Jesus. As we lift the service and your word, Father, before you. Amen. May your word bring healing to your yes, people. Lord. Amen. May your word bring restoration. Jesus. Amen. May your word bring elevation. Amen. May your word bring comfort. Yes, Amen. Lord. To your people in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. We come against every weapon that is not of thee. Amen. We come against every scheme and every agenda. Amen. Every plot of the enemy. Amen. That has been orchestrated from the pit of hell against the ministry. Jesus. We subdue them by the power and the authority of Jesus. Amen. Father, have your way Amen. and reign supreme in Amen. the midst of your people. Amen. 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 The book of Matthew, the journey of life, the journey through the wilderness. It is a journey that every man or woman living on earth embarks on. It is a journey that I know if God should give you an option, you will not embark on that journey. The journey to the wilderness. How many of us want to embark on that journey? The wilderness journey. Can I grow? Hallelujah. How many of us, if you are here and you say, for us, for me, I will embark on that journey. Hallelujah. Nobody wants it. But the Bible says, after John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ, and the heavens opened, and the Spirit of the Lord descended like a dove on the Son of the living God, and the voice was heard from heaven, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Bible says that when he came out of the water, instead of going to the city to perform wonders, 
Instead of going to the palace to sit with kings and princesses and, and great men, the Bible said the spirit of the Lord that came upon him led him into the wilderness. Sometimes the spirit of the Lord will lead you to a place you don't want to be. Hallelujah. Amen. I said if God wants to make you great, if God wants to make you powerful, if God wants to establish you, he will take you to a place to prepare you. He will take you to a place you wouldn't want to go under normal circumstances. Jesus. It wasn't by his might, it wasn't by his power, but the spirit that he carried, the spirit directed his path. And I thought he was going somewhere. But when I looked and I checked, he Jesus. was going to the wilderness, a place where no man lives. Jesus. He was being separated from men. He was being positioned at a place where probably animals are all around him. Or maybe in the desert where it will be even difficult to find water to drink. So sometimes God brings you to a place where it is hard for you to get even water to drink. He brings you to a place where sometimes it is hard for you to get food to eat. Because Bible says when he went into the wilderness, he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And you know what amazes me? He said he took him there for, 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 for the devil, for the enemy to tempt him. Hallelujah. Amen. So I've been thinking about it. Why do you take your son to the wilderness for the enemy to tempt him? According to our track record, a record that has been proven over time, nobody has had an encounter with him. I want you It doesn't matter how great you are. It doesn't matter how anointed you are. If you have an encounter with the devil, if you are not careful, you will fall. But you know, do you know why he was in the wilderness? He was in the wilderness to prove a point to him. Because God knew that his son will never fail. Amen. But God had to prove a point to the devil that you deceived the first Adam. You made the first Adam fall. You went into the garden. You lied to him. You deceived him. He believed you and he fell to your tricks. But I am bringing a first, second Adam. You are not going to come to him, but I am bringing him to him. Amen. To you. Because he is going to prove a point. Amen. That just because you've been deceiving man through all generations, doesn't mean that you can deceive everybody. Amen. So God took Jesus to the wilderness for the devil to know that finally God himself has Amen. arrived. Amen. And when God arrives, you cannot deceive God. Amen. Oh, oh, one thing, Yamikaya, and you didn't hear me. You can deceive any man. You can deceive everybody. But when God arrives in the scene, when God steps on the scene, Amen. it doesn't matter how, how deceptive you are. You Amen. cannot deceive him. Amen. Amen. You cannot deceive him. Amen. Amen. So he took him to the wilderness. To be tempted by the devil. And his temptation is to let you know that it doesn't matter what you go through in life. You can overcome every temptation. You can overcome every obstacle. You can overcome Amen. every hindrance. Amen. You can overcome. Amen. You can overcome. Amen. The journey to the wilderness is for you and I. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he cannot tell you that you can overcome if he himself hasn't been through it. Hallelujah. Amen. I cannot tell you you can overcome something if me, myself, if I haven't gone through that thing, if I haven't seen the power of God work in my favor to become certain obstacles, it will become difficult for me to tell you, Mama, don't Jesus. worry. If I am telling you, it is not coming from my heart. And anything that does not come from your heart does not make any impact in the lives of people. Jesus. So people are doing lip service. It is well. 
but it is not coming from their heart because they've not experienced what you are experiencing and they've not seen the deliverance the deliverance power of God so they are telling you but some of them it is just coming from it is not coming from their heart they don't they don't have the testimony to back what they are saying my God so for Jesus to let you know that no weapon that is formed against hey. you shall not prosper, he has to go through it. He has to withstand it. Amen. The devil has to tempt him. And Amen. after he has overcome, he, ha he is confident enough to let you know you can also overcome. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The spirit took him to the wilderness. So if you see somebody going through a wilderness experience, mommy, take your time. Don't judge the person. Because maybe the spirit of the Lord is taking that person through a process. But you don't know. And you are gossiping about it. You don't know. And you are talking about it. Amen. You don't know. And you are saying all kinds of things. Amen. But maybe the spirit of the Lord upon him Amen. is taking that person through a process Amen. to prepare him for greater Amen. works. Amen. I see you entering your greater works. I, oh, I, see. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. I, I see you. I see you. Amen. You are entering a place. I where receive you it. Can take Amen. You accept the, Amen. The grace of God. Amen. Amen. The spirit took him into the wilderness. Friends, no friends. Nobody to talk to. Jesus. Jesus. I think this man is a thief. Because if 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 if, if God has said you, you will break through in life and you are going through all this struggle, then go and check the call you receive. Maybe the call you receive is not from God. You receive a call, but maybe it's from somewhere else. Because if God calls you, then you are not supposed to go through whatever you are going through. But sometimes that is a lie from the devil. Jesus. Because sometimes he will lead you through the wilderness. To prepare you for your next level. Amen. Sometimes he brings you to a place where everybody will look down upon you. But he is preparing you for the next level. Amen. Sometimes he brings you low so that he will be able to lift you and place you higher Amen. than everyone. Amen. So if you are low today, I came to prophesy. Amen. I came to speak to you Amen. that a day is coming. Yes. The Lord will promote you. I, oh, I said the Lord will elevate you. I, I said the Lord will set a table I will see. in the presence of your enemies. Amen. Amen. He went there to be tested. And because God is not a liar, in fact, the devil also showed up. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God took him there to be tested. So for me, if I knew that this is God, and I cannot deceive God, I won't try going to deceive God. But the enemy is no respecter of anybody. Amen. If God is in the flesh, and he has succeeded in causing flesh to fall, then he would take his chances with him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Which means that don't think that the devil will not come because you are praying 24-7. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Don't think that he will not show up because you poured oil on your head. He will tempt you. He will come. He will come because he has to prepare you for your next level. Amen. So he showed up. And when he showed up, he said to him, if you are the son of God, if you tell me that I am, if I am the son of his excellency, I should do something. I will do it. Because I want to prove to you that truly, truly, I am his son. Is that not it? Yes. He said, if you are the son of of God do something to prove that of a truth you are the son of God so if you refuse 
to do what he is asking you to do, then it goes to prove that you are a liar. You see how the enemy operates. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is why the journey through the wilderness is very important. Because you will learn the ways of the enemy. You will learn the tricks of the enemy. You will learn the devices of the enemy. And when you come out of the wilderness, then the Bible says that no weapon formed against you will prosper Amen. because you've been through the wilderness. Amen. You face the challenges of life. You've gone through all. Oh, so the Bible says that the no weapon against you shall prosper. prosper. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you are the son of God, you are hungry. A common deal. A common deal. So I would do. If you are hungry, you do what? You eat. You chop. If you bring my favorite and you set it here, I am hungry. If you are not careful, I will forget everybody is here. I will chop my food. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I will chop. So listen, the devil knows what you need. He, 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 he knows the situation you are in. And, and, and knows what he can do for you to take that, that, that thing that is there. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are the son of God, here are stones. All power belongs to God. He said, let there be light. There was light. Darkness over the surface of the deep. He formed the earth. He did everything. So if you are the son of God, it means you carry the power of your father. It means what your father does, you can also do. So if you are the son of God, then I want you to tell this stone to become bread and eat. <laughs> Come and see speed. Come and see what? Oh, I didn't hear you. Come and see what? Speed. Come and see speed. Amen. Come and see speed. Most of us we will jump on that opportunity to prove that we are somebody. You don't need to prove to anybody that you are somebody. My God. Especially people who don't believe in your God. When they throw a challenge at you, ignore them. Unless you've heard the voice of God saying that, do it. Amen. If you have not heard the voice of God, don't do it. Amen. So Jesus said, it is written, yes. man shall not live by bread, by bread alone. alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Yes. Ah, listen on. It is written yes. that man, who is man? Man is what? The word of God. Amen. My confusion. My confusion. Man came as a result of what God said. So God said, let us create man in our image and in our likeness. So you came out of the word of God. Amen. The only thing that can also sustain you, it is the same word that brought you forth. Amen. You, you came out of the word of the Lord. He said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. Okay, now once he said that, he moved into action. He first of all formed your spirit being. Hallelujah. Amen. So your spirit man came into existence. Now once the spirit man is in existence and God is giving man dominion and power over the earth, he need to find a house for that spirit. So after he had spoken, and man has been formed. Bible says that he took the dust of the earth and he formed man and he put the spirit of man into the body. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus said, as a man 
created in the image and in the likeness of God, you cannot live by physical things alone. Because never forget that you are a spirit being with a soul living in a body. So if you depend on just physical things to live, you will not be able to fulfill your destiny. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He said man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So do you know what I realized? It, the, the issue wasn't about Jesus turning that stone into bread. See where the devil is coming from. If you know where the devil is coming from, then you can deal with him. If you don't know where he is coming from, then you will also know, will not know where he is going. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil knew that God has said to Jesus, it is not time to eat. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. He said, man will not live by that bread alone, but by every word that comes out from the mouth of God. And the devil always wants you to do the things that God is saying don't do. If the devil comes into your life, the things that he wants you to do are the things that God has said, do not do it. That is how he operates. So he looks for what God has said in the moment. And then he will ask you, he will twist it around and ask you, you can do it. That is why he said, if you are the son of God, it means you are equating yourself with God. And if you are equal with God, then you don't need to obey him. You can also do things on your own. So the word of the Lord says, even though you are hungry, it is not time to eat yet. Hold on. So the devil also comes and said, you are hungry. Look, stone is here. You are the express image of God. All power belongs to you. He gave you dominion, authority. Have you forgotten? When the earth was created, he brought the animals and he said, name them. Every name that you gave, he said, I approve. So if you will turn this stone to bread, God will approve it. But you know what? The devil is causing Christ to disobey God. Jesus. Amen. So Jesus is saying that it doesn't matter what you are going through in life. If the word of the Lord says don't go, it doesn't matter. Stay. He said it is written. But you and I know that before the written word became written, it was first Rema. It was Rema and it became Logos. Before this Bible was written to become the Logos, it was first Rema. Hallelujah. Amen. So sometimes God will speak to you, not directly from the Bible, but you wake up one morning and you hear in your spirit, don't step out today. It is God talking to you. You don't need to go and find where it is written in the Bible that I shouldn't step out. You might not find it. Amen. Because God is talking to your spirit directly. So maybe God had a communication with Jesus that it is not time for you to eat. If you eat, you have disobeyed God. And if you disobeyed God, he withdraws himself from you. And you are all alone and the devil takes your power and your glory. Jesus. He is setting the man up for failure. So the devil will always set you up to fail. It doesn't matter how he quotes it. It doesn't matter how he dresses it. His intention is for you to fail in life. You cannot be pampered by the devil. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone. 
but by every word that comes from God. Amen. It means that when we hear the voice of God, work with that voice. Amen. I remember when we were in Springfield. Hey, Holy Spirit, come on. One time we were in Springfield, and our father, I think he went to um, Atlanta to do a program. So he was delaying in coming. And I called him, and he said, wait, I am coming. I'm on my way. So just have them sing songs. I'll be there soon. I said, okay, yes, sir. I've heard my father's voice. And what he told me was that I should what? Wait for him to come. Amen. Simple and yet, yeah. But daddy is also not coming. Abbott says, hey, we are still waiting. So some of the elders, with their good intention, came and said, Pastor, go ahead and preach. We give you that to Hallelujah. I said, that's Rala Brudan Delivery. Amen. Shatarabu. I'm going to pray today. Allah. Fire will fall. Amen. Hi, 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 hi. Hallelujah. Amen. But listen, I have already heard the voice of my father yes. saying that wait. If I have not heard him, it is a different thing because they are the elders of the church. So if our father is delaying, it's not coming. And they step in and say, go ahead and preach. Or our father says, do this, do that. I will obey them. But if I myself have been told that I should wait, if I have to proceed, then I have to go back to him. For him to confirm what they are saying. If not, I will wait. Amen. So if you hear the voice of God, the man is handsome, has all the cards. The car no crowd or DBC see him. One say ya. So I just say, but God is saying, it is not time yet. Wait. And your friends are also saying, this is your last opportunity. Check your mother, check your father, your aunties. This is a, an opportunity that will be able to turn your family around. Take it to my sister. You are growing old. Take it. Hallelujah. But if you've heard the voice of the Lord, Jesus, let every man be a liar and let God be true. Amen. It doesn't matter who is talking. If it is contrary to the voice of God, disobey them. Amen. It doesn't matter their position. It doesn't matter. So Jesus said, I will not obey your voice. Amen. I will work with the voice of God. And he is asking me to wait. Amen. So I will wait. Amen. Amen. I will wait for him. Amen. Because they that wait upon the Lord. Because the other day I saw the king riding on his chariot. I saw the king all gone way ahead. And I saw the man of God waiting on the Lord. And after he had waited and the power of God has come upon him. The Bible says he overtook the chariot. He overtook the horses. He overtook those who have gone ahead of them. I prophesy to you if you will wait and you will work with the the word of God, Amen. you will overtake your enemies, Amen. you will overtake your friends, Amen. you will overtake those who are ahead Amen. of you. Somebody, are you here with me? Yes. Amen. Are we communicating? Yes. yes. And are we telling you the mind of God today? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But he said just Make sure that you don't depend on physical things alone. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But let the word of the Lord be paramount in your life. Amen. The word of the Lord. He said it is written, which also means that you and I must study our word. Some of us, when challenges come, we don't have any scripture. 
It is about our experience. It is about what somebody said. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus read the Bible. So he quotes from the scriptures. He said, it is written. Yes, Lord. There are times you need to defend yourself with what is written. Amen. So if you don't know what is written, anybody can deceive you. Hallelujah. Amen. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Amen. And he also said, devil said, if you are quoting scriptures, then let us quote scriptures. If you know scriptures, I also know scriptures. So let us fight with scriptures and let's see who will win. It is written that he has given his angels charge over you that they will hold you in the palm of their hand that, that, that you will not dash your foot against a stone. It is written. It is written. It is written. So I want you to go on top of this building Amen. and jump and that scripture will be activated. Bible says, Jesus said, do not tempt the Lord your God. Amen. Amen. So just because somebody is saying it is written, doesn't mean you have to run with it. Because maybe they are quoting the scripture out of context. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So just because somebody said it is written, you don't have to get over excited. It is written that his angels, they will hold you in the palm of their hands. That you will not dash your foot against a stone. But in the scripture, he did not say, go up, stand up on top of the mountain, and throw yourself down, and I'll hold you. Is that what the scripture said? Nope. No. But in life, as we journey in life, there will be times when there will be troubles. There will be times when traps will be set for you. Ah. When that happens, your God will deliver you from Amen. the snare of the fowler. Ah. You don't have to put yourself in the way of danger. But when that comes upon you, your God your God will protect you. Amen. Amen. So don't let somebody put a poison in, a, in water and quote a scripture and tell you that you will drink poison and you will not die. You are tempting your God. And if you tempt God, he will be looking at you like this. You see the way I'm looking at you. You will wake up. I don't know where you will be. Whether you will be in heaven or you will be in hell. But when you wake up, you will not be in this body. Hallelujah. Amen. So some scriptures are quoted for us to tempt the God that we serve. Don't go and stand in the middle of the street and say, I, I am anointed. God is with me. He has said he will never leave me. He will never forsake me. It doesn't matter where I am. He is with me. I can stand in the middle of this road. No car can hit me. You will be there. You will, be, you will find yourself in the hospital. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh. Ya bache chrona ba kwa bosu na nsa ba kwa bosu pa. Uhu adia. Weapon home. Hallelujah. Amen. But if the enemy comes in like a flood, mm. then the spirit of the Lord that dwells with you, abides with you, lives in you, will lift up a standard against your enemy. He will fight your battles for you. He will protect you. He will defend you. It doesn't matter what comes. The God that you serve, he is able to protect his own. But do not tempt him. Amen. Jesus said, I won't Amen. do that. It is temptation. I will die. The devil knew it. He knew he was going to die if he tries it. Hallelujah. Amen. The journey through the wilderness. The time when the angels were the last thing that he came up with is he showed him the whole, the kingdom of this earth. The glory, the power, the fame of it all. And said, Peter, check it out. Look at that cow. cow. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> see, see, see that house. You see how it is well decorated? Check the lighting around the house. It all belongs to me. If you will worship, I will give it unto you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You see, that is what the devil is looking for. All that he is doing, 
he is looking for worship. Because he said, I will also ascend to where the most high is. And as the angels are bowing down before him, they will also bow before me. So the devil is looking for people to worship him. He said, I will not just give it to you for free. But if you will worship, because once you worship, you have sold your soul to the enemy. Jesus. Once you enter into worship, you decide to worship anybody. It means that you have turned your back on God. You are telling God that he is not God. You are telling God you don't need him. You are telling God he is not important. You are telling God he is a nobody. So you will not worship. You will worship somebody else. Jesus. And once you enter into worship, it means that your soul belongs to that whatever you worship. Your spirit belongs to them. Your body belongs to them. They detect your life for you. He said, if you will worship me, I will give you this, I will give you that, I will give you this. When it comes to worship, or when he came to worship, you know what Jesus said? You devil, go away from me. Hallelujah. Amen. I said when it came to worship, turn stone into bread. He said this. Turn this jump. He said that. But when, he, when it came to worship, before he would quote in his scripture, he said, get away from me. Amen. It means that anybody that wants you to worship anything that is not of God, you have the right to tell that person with three soup, no a pound person. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I said, if anybody wants you to worship, you have the right to tell them free me soko. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. So Jesus said, get away from me, you devil. For it is written, you shall worship, you shall serve the Lord thy God, and he alone shall you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil is after worship. Whatever the devil promises you, if you are not a worshiper, you will not get it. And when we talk of worship, we are not just talking about somebody mounting the pulpit and singing. Worship is a way of life. Amen. It is not us coming on Sunday. Nami wapon subia. Mechi. Mechi. Nama prepare me. Nami de aba. Na ubi aman and sasu. Now the church feels that is the worship. So during that time, some people will cry. They will roll themselves on the ground. These days, you cry the America for gentle, for gentle from ground. During, during that aspect of service, nobody will kneel down. Mercy, mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not that. Worship goes far beyond the singing and the praises we do here. Worship is a way of life. Amen. Worship is a way of life. Loving your neighbor as yourself. Coming to church, reading the Bible. Everything you do in God is a worship unto him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let us not just focus on just the song. Here I am to worship. Hallelujah. Amen. But Jesus said, no. We worship only one God. Amen. And him alone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The king said, it is time for you to worship. If you don't worship, you will lose your job. Your boss can tell you so many things. Sometimes they quote the worship in a different way. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes the worship 
you are looking for a job. Oh. The manager is saying, no, 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The devil comes in so many forms and so many ways to deceive us. He will not attack you the way he is attacking Jesus. But he will come in a different way because we are in a new generation. We are in a new era. We are in a new century. He will come in a different way. But if you have the spirit of the Lord in you, then the spirit of the Lord within you will tell you, tell this devil, go away from me. The spirit of the Lord in you will say, it is written, you shall not serve any other God. Amen. The spirit of the Lord in you will Amen. tell you, man shall not live by bread alone, Amen. but by every word that comes from the Lord. Amen. The spirit of the Lord in you will Amen. say to you, Amen. do not tell the Lord your God. Amen. The wilderness experience doesn't taste good. It's like taking a bitter medicine because you have a need. There is something that you desperately need. You are a young woman. You are a young man. You need to have a job. You need to marry. You need to do this. But all the offers coming means that you have to worship. Sometimes it is not easy. But we're going to read the last verse and then we will end. Because it's a time we're not caught. Amen. Away, verse 10. Then Jesus said, Away with you, Satan. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and him alone you shall say. Then the devil left. Resist the enemy and he will flee. The devil left. Resist the enemy and he will flee. The devil did what? And after the devil had left, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. After the devil had left him. Then the presence of God, the oil of God, the power of God, the grace of God, Amen. the mercies of God came to him and they ministered unto him and they brought comfort and the things that he needed, God provided for him. So when, when, he, when he was risen from the dead, he said, all power in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. The genesis is for him going through the wilderness experience. If you don't have a genesis, you might not have a revelation. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I said, if you don't have a genesis, you might not have a revelation. In your life. He stood firm for God. If you will stand for God. If you will be obedient unto God. And you will stick with him no matter the challenges. No matter the trials. No matter what people are saying. If you will stick with him. Then the angels of the Lord will come. And they will minister unto you. Amen. The angels of the Lord will come. Amen. They will make a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. The angels of the Lord will come. Amen. They will cause doors and gates to open. On their own accord. The angels of the Lord will come. And the king will say. There were three people in the fire. But I see a fourth man. The fourth man will not come. Until you are in the fire. The fourth man will not show up until you are in the fire. And even though the fire is meant to destroy you because of the fourth man, you will be standing whilst your enemies have fallen. Amen. 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 Be on your feet. Amen. Be on your feet. Amen. Yes, I'm
the wilderness experience. Or the journey through the wilderness. The genesis of your greatness. The genesis of your greatness. Amen. The genesis of your greatness. Amen. Ask any great man of God. God, ask any great person in this world. They will tell you what they've been through. And it is what they've been through that has propelled them to be where they are today. Amen. Some of us don't want to go through anything. We just want to enjoy. McDonald's drive through number four. Please, medium cook. I want the chicken, just the legs. Large fries. Please, large fries. No salt, please. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I just want you to just pray in your heart. I don't know where you are right now. I don't know where you are in life. I don't know whether you are out of the wilderness or you are still in there. Pray for the strength of God, for the mercies of God, for the power of God, for the grace of God. Pray. Pray for it. Pray. 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 I don't know what you are going through, but I want you to pray and bring it before God. I don't know the challenges you are in. I don't know what is going on in your life, but I want you to pray that the Lord will meet you at the point of need. That the Lord will smile at you. You might be in the fire. You might be in the lion's den. But he is able. 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 I want you to talk to God. That's why we are not shouting. It has nothing to do with me. It should be between you and your creator. Your savior. Talk to him. Talk to him. You don't understand why things are happening the way they are happening. You do not understand why you are going through the things that you are going through. Talk to him. He knows why. He understands why. Maybe you are gold. You have to go through fire. So that you will come out shining. Two more minutes. Pray. Pray. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Father, listen to the cry of your people. And let the heavens open unto your people, Lord. Father, hear the cry of your people. Cause us not to fail in the wilderness, Lord. Cause us not to fail in the wilderness, Lord. Cause us not to mama and complain in the wilderness, Lord. But Lord, let our hope and our trust be in you. 
Let our hope and our trust be in you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, we thank you and we bless you. You alone are God. We lift our heart, our soul before thee, O Lord. Amen. That, Lord, you will grant us the strength, the power, Amen. the authority. Amen. Father, the discernment Amen. to discern and to know the devices of the enemy. Amen. Cause us not to be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. Amen. Cause us to stand firm in your word, O Lord. Amen. That, Lord, we will battle every weapon. We will battle every agenda of the enemy. Amen. That Amen. at the end of it all, Lord, we will be victors and not victims. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We humbly pray. Amen. 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 Oh, somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. And take your seat. God bless you, Baba. It is time for our tithe. So please, if you have your tithe, please take your tithe and please come forward. Take your tithe and please come forward. Your tithe and please come forward. Come forward with your tithe. If you have your tithe up, just I want you to pray. <clears throat> pray over your tithe. Talk to God. If you don't have your tithe, I want you to also take your offering and just lift that offering up. If you don't have your tithe here, please, if you are seated. You also take your offering. I want you to also pray over that offering. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Our tithes and our offerings are lifted before you. You are the great I am. You have never lied to any man. And you have never deceived any man. Your word is yea and amen. And it's forever settled. Father, as our tithe are lifted, we are praying for open heavens. Let the heavens open upon your people. Father, cause them to be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. Cause your people to increase, to bear fruit. Cause, Father, your people, Father, to increase and to bear fruit in season and even in out of season. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that as their offerings and as their tithe, Father, are lifted, we pray and we come against every weapon that is fighting them in secret places. We declare in the name of Jesus that, Lord, your people will excel. They will succeed. They will prosper. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please put your offering in. Please take your tithe or your offering. And I just want you to walk forward and put your offering in. I feel in my spirit that we should just walk and just put the offering in. Just walk and put it in. Are you happy to be here? God bless you. We, we are, once again, we appreciate you for being here, for coming in your numbers. It is, it is always awesome to see your beautiful faces in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. 
I like all your wigs, your makeups, your everything, everything. Yeah, everything is everything is on point. So the men, those of us that are bored, we are also going to uh, see the ladies. Maybe they have something spare, so at least we can also put something on, and then we all be covered. Hallelujah. So there will be no uncovered person in this house. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Uh, please, we have a birthday celebration, so please let us bring the, uh, the cake. Is there anybody here celebrating his or her birthday, apart from the cake that I see there? How far we go? Okay, this this cake is for my own son. Michael, it's Michael's birthday. Mike, come here, brand new chat. Come, 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 come. Uh huh. Zion Killer and um, hey. Oh, uh -huh. it's Michael's birthday. Uh huh. Oh, happy birthday. To you, happy birthday, 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 Amen. I believe that uh, just as we've all gathered like this, so when it's everybody's birthday, let us all come out like that. The end support you, be our effort, effort. Mike, it is your birthday. Your father, I bless you. That the blessings of the Lord will be your portion. Amen. There is nothing that brings man out, establishes man. Apart from the blessings of the Lord. Amen. So the, in this life, whatever step that you take, may the blessings of the Lord be around you. Amen. May he set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Amen. May the Lord anoint your head with oil. Amen. May your cup run over. Amen. May goodness and mercy be your portion all the days of your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. Amen. Amen. Okay, young fan I for the intra kick kick. Aha. Okay. We cut the kick in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My God bless you. Okay. I hear it is our pastor Abigail's birthday. Pastor Abigail. It is Pastor Abigail's birthday. birthday. Pastor, I'm in charge on your birthday. I'm birthday. Uh -huh. in charge of you. Pastor Abigail, birthday. our daddy is not here, birthday. but I stand in the feet of my father birthday. and I say, May the Lord bless and bless birthday. and bless you. Amen. Amen. Birthday. Amen. Okay. Please. Amen. Uh, please, as we all know, our daddy is coming back um, this week. So coming Sunday, uh, the papa himself is going to be here. Hallelujah. Let us come in our numbers. And, and the Lord just laid something on my heart. Hallelujah. I want you to also pray about it. That you will put something in an envelope, okay? So 
when Papa comes in after the preaching, listen on. When he comes in, he preaches. After the preaching, if you have your envelope, you will put it here on this altar. Hallelujah. I'm going to do it because that is what the Lord just laid on my heart. So please, listen to what I said. Put something in an envelope. And when our daddy is done preaching on Sunday, we will run and put that envelope on this altar. We are not going to ask him to pray. We are not going to ask him to pray for you. Just put 